54 facts about dachshunds every owner should know. Number 1. Every year on July 25th in Zelenogorsk, Russia, a delightful parade of dachshunds strolls by a dachshund monument. The parade is performed to mark the day the city was founded. Number 2. Across the United States, numerous dachshund races are organized, attracting thousands of attendees. Some enthusiasts even train their dachshunds to compete in these events. These races are held in states like Tennessee, Louisiana, Texas, California, Arizona, Ohio, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Minnesota. Number 3. Additionally, there are fun annual dachshund races in various places, including Kennywood Amusement Park in Pennsylvania, known as the Wiener 100 Huntington. On the other hand, the residents of Lovettsville, Virginia hold the Dachshund Dash as part of their annual Oktoberfest celebration. Number 4. Dachshunds also excel in earth dog trials. It is a thrilling sport where they navigate tunnels filled with challenges, aiming to find either an artificial bait or live caged rats, showcasing their exceptional hunting skills and breeding heritage. Number 5. Although numerous enthusiasts find joy in dachshund races, the Dachshund Club of America DCA, opposes wiener racing. They express concerns about potential dog injuries, particularly because of the breed's susceptibility to back problems. Number 6. Dachshunds come in three coat varieties – smooth, long-haired, and wire-haired. Number 7. Dachshunds exhibit a rich array of colors and patterns. The most common base colors are red and cream, as well as tan-pointed variations like black and tan, chocolate and tan, blue and tan, or Isabella and tan. Wire-haired dachshunds can also have a color known as wild boar, and additionally, patterns like dapple, merle, sable, brindle, and piebald can appear on any of these base colors. Number 8. Brindle signifies dark stripes on a typically solid background, often red. If a dachshund is brindled on a dark coat with tan points, the brindling appears exclusively on the tan points. Even a solitary stripe of brindle qualifies as brindle. Similarly, if a dachshund has just one spot of dapple, they're still considered a dapple dachshund. Number 9. Certain dachshunds exhibit a unique moral pattern called double dapple. This happens when dapple gene appears twice in the same coat area, resulting in white patches. These dogs are referred to as double dapple dachshunds and are at a higher risk of experiencing vision and hearing issues. Number 10. The Dachshund Club of America and the American Kennel Club disqualify double dapple as a color in the show ring, considering it out of standard. However, piebald is now a recognized color in the DCA breed standard. Number 11. In 2007, the DCA removed the term double dapple from the standard. Now, DCA solely employs dapple because the double dapple gene is often linked to blindness and deafness. Number 12. Dachshunds are available in three sizes – standard, miniature, and cunning ken, meaning rabbit in German. Number 13. While standard and miniature sizes are widely accepted, the rabbit size is not recognized by kennel clubs in the United States and the United Kingdom. However, it holds recognition from the Federation Sinologic International, a worldwide organization comprising kennel clubs from 83 countries. Number 14. A mature standard dachshund usually weighs between 16 and 32 pounds, while a miniature dachshund typically weighs less than 12 pounds. Number 15. Dachshunds are susceptible to spinal issues, notably intervertebral disc disease, owing to their long spines and short rib cages. Factors like obesity, jumping, rough handling, or strenuous exercise can increase the risk of injury by putting additional strain on their vertebrae. Number 16. According to research, about 20 to 25 percent of all dachshunds will develop intervertebral disc disease in their lifetime. Number 17. The good news is Finnish researchers have established a screening program for intervertebral disc disease, and in the UK, a similar program has been created for breeders to help lower the occurrence of spinal problems in dachshunds. Number 18. The Oklahoma State University Veterinary Hospital has developed a minimally invasive procedure called percutaneous laser disc ablation. Initially, it was tested on dachshunds with previous back problems, but the plan is to extend this treatment to a wider dog population given the breed's predisposition to back issues. Number 19. Besides back problems, dachshunds are susceptible to patellar luxation, a condition where the kneecap can dislodge and some may even suffer from brittle bone disease. This condition is most prevalent among wire-haired dachshunds, with about 17% of them being carriers. Number 20. Nowadays, breeders can use genetic tests to prevent mating between carrier dogs. When carriers are bred together, each puppy from such pairings faces a 25% risk of being affected by the condition. Number 21. Dachshunds are susceptible to a range of other health issues, including hereditary epilepsy, granulomatous meningoencephalitis, dental problems, Cushing syndrome, thyroid and autoimmune disorders, allergies, and various eye conditions such as cataracts, glaucoma, and retinal issues like progressive retinal atrophy. 
Number 22. Dachshunds face a higher risk of developing a congenital heart defect called patent ductus arteriosus. When compared to other breeds, dachshunds are about 2.5 times more likely to develop this condition. Number 23. Additionally, dilute colored dachshunds like blue, Isabella, and cream are particularly vulnerable to color dilution alopecia, a skin disorder leading to hair loss, and sun sensitivity. Number 24. Dachshunds are known to be able to track a scent that is more than a week old. Number 25. Dachshunds were intentionally bred with floppy or flap-down ears to prevent debris from entering their ear canals. Number 26. Similar to the flap-down ears, the distinctive curved tail of the dachshund serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it makes them more visible in tall grass, and secondly, it aids in rescuing them from burrows. Number 27. Some kennels in Germany specialize in breeding hunting dachshunds, focusing on hunting-related performance breeding or working dog breeding rather than breeding them as family pets. Number 28. Dachshunds hold a strong presence in the United States, earning the 12th spot in the AKC registration statistics for 2018 and showcasing their popularity. Number 29. Dachshunds have captured the hearts of urban and apartment dwellers as well. In the same 2018 survey by the AKC, these guys secured a place among the top 10 most beloved breeds in a whopping 76 out of 190 major US cities. Number 30. Crusoe, the celebrity dachshund, became a social media sensation, captivating fans worldwide. In 2015, he extended his charm to the literary world with his best-selling book, Crusoe, Adventures of the Wiener Dog Extraordinaire. Number 31. Later in 2018, Crusoe delighted fans with his second book, Crusoe, the Worldly Wiener Dog. His star power shone even brighter when he clinched the Best Animal category at the 9th Annual Shorty Awards and secured the People's Choice Awards Animal Star of 2018. Number 32. Dachshunds are in fact a German breed created with influence from hounds and terriers from Germany, France, and England. They were cherished by European royalty, including Queen Victoria, who was deeply in love with this breed. Number 33. Dachshunds originally went by names like the Dachs Kriegherr, meaning Badger Crawler, or Dachs Kriegay, meaning Badger Warrior. The first written mentions of these dogs can be traced back to books written in the early 18th century. Number 34. The original German Dachshunds were larger than the modern full-size type, weighing between 31 and 40 pounds. Initially, these guys existed in straight-legged and crook-legged varieties. Number 35. Dachshunds were renowned for badger control and hunting, but they also excelled in hunting rabbits and foxes. They were skilled at tracking injured deer and even hunting larger game like wild boar and wolverines in packs. Number 36. Sources conflict on when exactly dachshunds were used for badger hunting. The American Kennel Club suggests the 15th century, but the Dachshund Club of America leans toward the 18th or 19th century. Number 37. While the exact origins of the dachshund remain uncertain, it is clear that the smooth dachshund played a pivotal role in giving rise to both the long-haired and wire-haired varieties through selective breeding. Number 38. It is believed that the smooth-haired dachshund, the oldest variety, was the result of deliberate breeding. This likely involved the German short-haired pointer, pincher, and possibly a brache or a short Bruno Jura hound. Number 39. When estimating the dachshund's ancestry, some people suggest a mix of miniature French pointers and pinchers, while others propose development from the Saint Hubert hound. Some even connect them to basset hounds due to their scenting skills and appearance. Number 40. Two theories again surround the origin of the standard long-haired dachshund. One suggests that smooth dachshunds occasionally had puppies with longer hair, and by selective breeding, breeders established a consistent line of long-haired dachshunds. Number 41. An alternative theory to the previous one suggests that the standard long-haired dachshund was created by crossbreeding two smooth dachshunds with various land and water spaniels, potentially including the German Stuber Hund. Number 42. The wire-haired dachshund, the newest variety, emerged in the late 19th century. This happened potentially through a cross between smooth dachshunds and hard-coated terriers like the Schnauzer, Dandy Dinman Terrier, German wire-haired pointer, or even the Scottish Terrier. Number 43. Dachshunds have been seen as a symbol for Germany for a long time now. During the First World War in particular, political cartoons used dachshunds to mock Germany, causing their popularity to drop in the United States. Due to this association, dachs were sometimes humorously referred to as liberty hounds, similar to how liberty cabbage replaced sauerkraut in North America. Number 44. Because of their strong connection to Germany and popularity in Munich, dachshunds were selected as the first official mascot at the 1972 Summer Olympics held in Munich. The mascot was named Waldi. Number 45. In Germany, dachshunds are commonly known as Dachel. However, hunters refer to them as Tekel instead. Number 46. During his 1937 European tour, the 35th US President, John F. Kennedy, got a dachshund puppy named Dunker as a heartfelt gesture for his then-girlfriend, Olivia. However, Dunker remained in Germany because Kennedy developed allergies from the pup. 
Number 47, Grover Cleveland, who served as both the 22nd and the 24th president, also brought a dachshund into the White House. This added a delightful touch of canine companionship to his presidency. Number 48, William Randolph Hearst, a prominent figure in American media history, held a deep affection for dachshunds. When his cherished dachshund Helena passed away, he immortalized her and is in the news column. Number 49, another well-known dachshund was Lump, who was the beloved pet of the iconic artist Pablo Picasso and was believed to have been a source of inspiration for some of Picasso's artworks. The story of their bond is beautifully captured in the book Picasso and Lump, A Dachshund's Odyssey. Number 50, the legendary visual artist Andy Warhol also had a dynamic duo of dachshunds, Archie and Amos. These fellows did not only grace Warhol's paintings, but also found their way into the pages of his diaries. Number 51, Joe the Dachshund held a special role in the heart of General Claire Lee Shanault, commander of the Flying Tigers and the China Air Task Force of the U.S. Army Air Forces. Joe proudly served as the beloved mascot of these heroic organizations, embodying the loyalty and spirit of those who fought alongside him. Number 52, Maxi the Dachshund, belonging to the actress Marie Prevost, bravely tried to rouse his dead mistress, who had small bites on her legs. Maxi's persistent barking eventually summoned concerned neighbors. This event actually inspired the touching 1977 song Marie Prevost by Nick Lowe. Number 53, Queen Margaret II of Denmark, like several Danish royals, has a deep affection for dachshunds. Over the years, she's kept many of these charming pups. In a heartwarming moment during her 80th birthday celebration in 2020 at Fredensborg Castle, she was also captured posing with one of her cherished dachshunds, Lilia. And number 54, Obi the dachshund gained notoriety during his severe obesity, surpassing a staggering 77 pounds, over twice the standard weight for the breed. However, his remarkable journey led him to achieve his healthy target weight of 20 28 pounds in July 2013. Alright guys, which of these dachshund facts amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.